One area we're concerned about is the Jobic inner city. As you know, it is a hub of economic activity, but it's also a crime hotspot. And we will be deploying most of those police officers into the inner city. In fact, we've already started doing that. We've seen many businesses in recent times leave the inner city because of various concerns, including safety concerns. And we need to reverse this while we're on our road to recovery and restoring safety to the inner city, for example, will restore confidence that the Jobic inner city is a, a, a safe place, a safe place to live, to work and to play. And you'll recall that in our manifesto promises, we promised residents integrated policing. We promised them that we will work closely in an integrated fashion with SAPs, with private policing agencies, as well as with our community policing forums. We've already started with these joint operations. I had one over the weekend, which was hugely successful. So yes, we're very serious about maintaining law and order in Johannesburg, restoring safety and security as we turn around the economy, making sure that the entire country benefits from the city of Johannesburg, which is in many ways the economic engine of this country and contributes significantly to the country's GDP.